Hey, so today we have another review, and this is from Orpheus Brewing in Atlanta. Uh, this is a... Oh, sorry. Atlanta. From Atlanta. Orpheus Brewing. This is their tart uh, plum saison. Uh, tart plum saison, blah, 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 spicy yeast, and then a refreshing tartness, blah, blah, blah. Uh, food pairing. Recommended. They don't actually tell you what to pair it with. 5.25%. I was gonna say, like. Nice looking label on that, right? It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's from Atlanta? Yeah. But they call it Atalanta? Mm hmm. Okay. So, uh, the beer comes in a beautiful kind of uh, light. Light gold. Medium gold. Medium gold. Light to medium gold. Uh, beautiful, fluffy white head on there. Let's get the nose. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It has a kind of like a little bit of. Uh, umeboshi plum, whatever it's called. Japanese uh, dried fermented plums, but a tart as well. Tons of kind of like limes, this character. Mm. Almost like really uh, sweet tarts uh, mm. comes in as well. I almost get like a grass clipping smell. Interesting. Also a little bit of that kind of um, tart. I guess Pez isn't really tart, but it has that like Pez candy sweetness maybe. Because mm -hmm. they smell sweet tarts. There's a really beautiful underlying fruit character. And then there's uh, the Saison. Uh, he says uh, this kind of phenolic thing. On the back end, there's a little bit of that kind of plasticky band-aid thing. Reminds me of um, sour gummy worms. Yes. But the, there is that funky phenolic thing that the yeast is offering. You know, like the, 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 the sour sugar? Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. This is tart. I'd say it's almost sour beer. Mm -hmm. It's not just tart. A lot of beers they call it tart, and it's like barely soured at all. This is sour. Yeah. Or at least full on tart. I get that whole ACV thing again with this one. The what? ACV? What's that? Apple cider vinegar? Oh, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> um, so this beer, by the way, uh, should have no acetic in it. So it might seem sour, but it's not a vinegar sourness. Ideally, it's like more of that kind of yogurt attack. No, it tastes like apple cider vinegar specifically. There is a fruitiness, and I think that's playing into there, but I don't know. It would make no sense that there's acetic acid production out of what they're using. I wouldn't even say it's like so much the vinegar quality culture? of it. I don't know. It's maybe mixed culture. I don't know. Post comments below if you know more about Orpheus. Is this more of a complex beer, or if it's simply a kettle sour that has a Saison yeast on it? Um, so you can do lactobacillus with the, uh, uh, you know, Saison sac strain, or you can do a little bit more complex, have sac and bread and. Would be the uh, sour producer, I guess, Pedococcus or Acetobacter. I don't know. Who knows? That's us geeking out. But what do you get on flavors? More so. It's sort of weird saying. It's a little bit more complex of a sour. It has a little bit more of that, like, thing coming on. Yeah, like, I don't feel it in my jaw. Yeah. You know, but it's... It's not just sharp on your front tongue. It doesn't know? taste like white distilled vinegar. It tastes yeah. like... I think that's the fruitiness that's coming out. Um, that might be the tart plum, though. And, like, the... Like what I was talking about, that, that sour sugar that's on the, on the the that coats the sour mm -hmm. gummy worms. I taste that. Yeah. But you're right. The fruitiness actually does play into an apple kind of thing, but I think that's this tart plum. It uh, sort of tastes like um, just sour plum. Like like biting into a plum, plums can be pretty tart. Like unless you get a really yeah. uh, ripe one, you also get a little bit tart ones uh, from the green plum. A little less kind of that fleshy, juicy thing. A little bit more of that kind of fruity sour thing from um, I almost get like more of an apple juice than yeah, like a plum it, it flavor. It almost has a, like a cider kind of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Like a sour cider with the beer kind of um, thing to it. Um, pretty interesting kind of thing that we're getting from that, but again, I assume that's the plum playing in here. I mean, I'll be completely honest, I don't know a ton about fruit. Mm -hmm. I don't eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> um quite tart, yeah. It's I I'd argue it's like medium minus to light sour or medium minus sour but it's still like super drinkable you know super drinkable. like yeah i mean i find like a lot of like the i guess the more sour sours um are just too hard for me to drink like mm -hmm. you know it's it's it causes too much of that like almost aching in my jaw yeah and there's a little bit of that saison phenol thing coming in so it has that little bit of like light touch of again like band-aid-y kind of thing coming in little hints of it but um what's your final impressions and rating Hmm. Um, this is definitely drinkable. Mm. Definitely drinkable. It's light. It's refreshing. Um, I would, I would, I would probably give this one. Bah, 
say a 90. Okay. Uh, I very much enjoyed this one. I really like the acidity on it. I uh, like the refreshing quality of it. Um, the point of city is great. The fruitiness is awesome. And that plum is nice and complex. You know, I, I think this might just be a kettle sour with really complex sour notes because of that use of the plum. It plays into fruitiness in here. It is dry in the sense that there's almost like wine. You might guess there's a little bit of hint of salt. And the use of tart plum, I don't know if it's a salted plum instead of just like a preserved one versus a fresh one. Um, I like the tasting notes in this one. It, it almost has a little bit of the skin in there uh, played in the flavor profile as well. Uh, super awesome summer crusher. Uh, this for me gets a 93. Okay. Yeah, awesome stuff. Highly recommended. Pick up a six pack. Hot day. Enjoy it. On the We're beach. Katie's already finished the can already. Hell. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.